going on? Chill with Ant Squad. It's your boy Ant back with you guys with another video. So we're going to check out Killer B violates Sasuke and they jump him for it. Now, in during Naruto series, Killer B, this man was I haven't watched the Naruto uh, the Naruto series, so don't come at me. But Killer B, he was one of those people, like, he would just rap in and spit in some bars. The next thing you know, uh, Sasuke and his crew tried to pull off him, try to jump him, even though they didn't stand no chance against him. Because my man Sasuke got violated him so freaking times. What's even crazy about this is that how... Right in the, during the middle of when they were fighting each other, right, where... Uh, QB pulled out a notepad and he was writing some bars right in front of him during the fight. Oh, nah, that was so disrespectful. I really hope that's on th this video. So, enough wasting time. We're going to go ahead and check this out. Appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing to the channel as of late. And if you're new to the channel, y'all already know what to do. One of the likes, run of the you subscribe, tap the bell every time I post all that good stuff. I love y'all for showing love and support to my main channel, Roads 1K. Let's get to this video. So it starts off with B dancing. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what moves bro was hitting, but it's clear as day he not Michael Jackson. He jumps down the stairs and takes a gander at the squad. And just look at how they're posted up, bruh. Like, you know they think they're cold waiting outside bro's residence. You're not. You're just strange. So Sasuke talking about some, I'm here to capture you. And B's like, oh word? Pull up then. And Sasuke be having me weak because he really sitting there talking about some, you take my right, you take my left. Now all of a sudden he Captain America. And while we're on the subject, he's not better than Fry. Whoever nah. made this set him up for failure. Cause it's not close. Nope. He had a plan though. He turned into an instigator. He like, hey, honestly bro, this squad would be tough for real. If his ass wasn't in it, Juga like, hey, I know you're not talking about me. And be like, nah, I wasn't. I'm talking about him. The one with the big ass sword. Yeah, he definitely trash. Oh no. After hearing all that, he charges at B. He not taking that disrespect. Look at him, okay. lunging, trying mad hard while B has his arms folded. You already know how this is about to end. Yep. The attack starts breaking the ground, causing smoke and debris. And when that shit clears, no one is surprised to see that Sugetsu's weak ass attack didn't work. Look at Sasuke's reaction. Like, damn, bro. Bless your teammate. You could have at least acted surprised. Instead, he like, yep, I knew he was trash. And this is crazy, because not only was Brody getting pushed back, he straight tells him, wait one, bitch. He like, huh? And takes that shit out of his hands. Shit goes flying. And I never seen somebody talk about this. Look at how he was holding the sword. He got two hands on the handle while B's holding it like this. Is that not crazy? How do you even get body like that? Yeah, like how in the hell did you get body like that? You have, you have, you're, you have two hands holding it and he's holding it like this. And he just flip, flips it. That's embarrassing. Yeah, no, if I lost my sword like that, I am never wielding that shit again. That Facts. shit is for the team. It's oh, not God. mine anymore. He must have been thinking the same thing because he didn't fight for it. He was like, nope. all right, you got it, bro, and dipped out. And now it's time for the next target. He on the squad like, damn, y'all looking sorry as hell. I don't even know why he bothered looking in his direction. He clearly not pulling back up. Jugo steps up to the challenge. B puts the sword around his neck and starts spinning it. And this is what gets me mad. Jugo sees him turn himself into a makeshift propeller. And his first thought is, From yeah, let me try punching him. Stupid. His brain must be smooth because that made no sense. Like, what did you think was going to happen? You telling me it didn't cross your mind to use a range attack, a kunai, something? Somebody need to take his screen time and give it to Rock Lee. Trash shit like this should not be aired. Jugo got to nah. be trolling because he did this curse mark shit to his arm just to use the other one anyways. He tries to lift the sword up and break his neck, but B is too quick for that. And look at B's face, you know he's about to violate. Even the cameraman had to cut away. We can only assume what happened through Karen's reaction. Jugo goes falling to the floor. And look at this scene right here, this is mad disrespectful. He's leaning on his op sword while- Oh yeah, that is so disrespectful. Leaning on a dude's freaking sword and just watching him lay down help helpless. That is so disrespectful as hell. Looking down on him, I'd have to start throwing hands with the cameraman for documenting a moment like this. I see you recording. You're not safe. Square up. So after all that, B picks him up like he's trash and throws him to Sasuke. And look at how sad he looks. Aww. With your weak ass. Don't ever run the ones again. Sasuke's getting ready to go up next, but Karen's like, Be careful. Everyone just got their ass beat. But Sasuke was like, They not me though and starts walking up to him. Look at Karen blushing. They both don't know what's about to happen. At no. this point, Sasuke's ego was at an all-time high. He just completed his life goal of ending Itachi, 
And before that, he packed up Orochimaru. His ass is on a win streak right now. Orochimaru did have like 10 HP, but damn, he was really out there Fuck. fighting next. So do we really care? He's weird. I know people watching that Sasuke ass. and his plot armor are just like, he, he can't, can't keep getting, getting away with, with this. this. Out there yelling like Jesse. But you gotta understand, Sasuke and plot armor is the best duo since Shaq and Kobe. But peep how he takes out the sword. He 100% was practicing that shit by himself. Bro cannot wait to show this off. Matter of fact, he just like the prince himself. Bro pulled up and made sure to drag out the transformation as long as he could. I Right, we get it bro you a super saiyan look at sasuke holding up the sleeve bro oh no you know exactly what's going through his head and it's two words i'm him and you may have noticed i haven't said a single word about b rap and i'm gonna keep it simple it's because that shit was trash every time he starts i'm praying for that shit to end soon and y'all be talking like nah he beating his ass then rapping as if it's not a part of the combo that shit should be classified as a genjutsu or something bro because that is definitely doing some damage it hurts me and i'm just spectating just like the third hokage he dead dead as hell you know he's spectating right now but Damn. it's time for the fight to start sasuke ah. is off the ground lunging at b but sasuke need to hit the weight room because he got his shit sent back Bitch. easily like bro how are you gonna do all that extra shit and get body like that do better b spins around like a beyblade flashes with sasuke and look at his face he like Damn. Bro finally fighting someone who doesn't have age. Shit not so sweet now, huh? It's Look not. at him getting pushed back here. I thought it was over for his ankle. But somehow he pivots and does this shit. Yeah, somebody gotta stop him because he taking moves straight from Shark Boy. He does this clean move where he puts the sword through the whole hey, pause yo. and lands a hit on me. And yeah, that was cool and all. But there's one problem. That shit did no fucking damage. No. And this man B is disrespectful because after he did that move, he took out his book and pencil and started writing on him. And you know Sasuke is sweating, nervous as hell right now. I knew they was preparing to jump B the second he gave back his sword. He like, get ready a little bro because he about to drop me off. He closes the book and he's like, alright, let me handle you real quick. Pulls out seven fucking swords. Sasuke is finished. He's cooked. Imagine oh, yeah. hearing your own squad in the back talking about some A hey, bro. I don't know about this one. Just run at that point. That's Yeah. If I was Sasuke, I would have legit run, ran at this point, or have my freaking, or get have my other crew fighting. Because if I'm fighting somebody and they have like seven swords, like in every single part of their body, nah, man, I'm not getting violated like that. Hell nah, I'm getting my crew like, yo, let's let's gang up on him. Like, nah, no way. That's translation for you're about to get your ass beat, but he don't want to tell you straight up, so he worded it that way. But they never pick up on the signs. Whole squad in the back looking like this. And I know you see him with that showering gun off. He gonna have that shit on real soon. His ass thought he was like Goku and Vegeta. Starting the fight off at 2%. And then going for real later. B yep. lunges at Sasuke striking first for once. No Cobra Kai. And look at Sasuke. He put that shit on immediately. And then they just start going crazy. I'm enjoying the damn show. But bro, B is doing some wild shit. He's really yeah. boxing him up in a handstand. Hey, that's a whole. And he's boxing. And he has seven swords, every single part of his body, mind you. And he's doing some moves like this. Oh, nah, it's wrapped at this point. New level of elite. But it doesn't stop there. He ends up doing a whole flip over him. Trips Sasuke. And look at this oh. frame. He don't know what's going on. He's nope. scared. He gets put on the bottom of B's shoes and gets along. And it was in this fight that I figured out Sasuke was a mid-air specialist. Because he escapes the animation, does a flip, and perfect parries like 50 attacks. Coming out that bitch unscathed. I'm like, okay, I didn't That's know you tough. was like that. I owe you an apology. I wasn't really familiar with your game, head ass. Call me Shaq. He throws swords at him, he dodges it. And this is how you know Sasuke don't want smoke for real. Look at him, he just running like, hey, chill, bro, chill. But B is right back on him. Hall of Fame chase down, you not going nowhere. They start scrapping and B has this clean dodge on him. He flips out of it and goes back on the attack and man. One thing about Naruto is the choreography for the hand-to-hand -hand combat never disappoints. Just look at how Sasuke rolls over B. That shit was tough. It might have been too tough because B starts doing damage immediately after that. B yep. cuts Sasuke's face and we could Ooh. clearly see he does not want to reunite with this clan today. He want to go home. But you did it to yourself. You try to be flashy with that. You try to jump this man thinking that you have a chance and you're at that fuck around and find out. That roll, but all you did was make me mad and start setting up to cook his shit. He starts juggling weapons and Sasuke's dumbass is trying to track every single one of them and almost gets his shit stomped. Yep. He dodges it and B spins him around like he in a washing machine and then he proceeds to send him 50 feet back, had him rolling on the floor messing up the Akatsuki fit. That right there is a violation because those are authentic Akatsuki robes. Those worth a couple bins. Facts. Well, not anymore, I guess, because all that dirt. Actually, on second thought, Balenciaga has a whole outfit worth 5k and we can clearly see this shit has dirt and holes 
in it. So oh, it might yeah. not be over for him. Sasuke, after getting body like that, said, fuck this, I'm about to cheese and use my Chidori. Goes after his sword and runs that B. And I guess you could say, he was shocked to see that B had the same element. Damn. But yeah, he blocks his attack. Shit is useless. He tried it. Be smiling like, oh, I see you like to cheese, my boy. Well, hold this. Hits him with the finishing move and sends him flying back 50 feet. Yeah, nah, getting Damn. pierced by six swords is crazy. Without context, I would have thought he got jumped. But the reality is, it was done by one man. He goes in to end him, trying to send him to Itachi. But his homie pulls up and says, Yeah, my man Sasuke got bailed out. Out this fight, and I guess, and I only say that because my man Sasuke has getting bailed out multiple times when it comes to like fighting wise. But yeah, at that point, his crew really needed to jump in and, and to like beat this man. Like what this man is doing to y'all, it's absolutely embarrassing. And it's a four on one, and my man Killer B is violating all four y'all. Oh nah, bro, they're gonna get cooked him because he know he got that plot armor and the crazy thing is he wouldn't have been enough because he started cutting through his sword to get to sasuke oh! and at this point i'm thinking damn sugetsu is going out sad this man b took the weapon from you made you yep. retreat and proceeds to use the weapon better than you did oh no nah. that's he definitely going to sleep angry after this this Facts. man jugo was on gold look at how he pulled up behind him Bro, look at his oh. face. This is what we call locked in. You know he's not folding. Running the fade right now is nothing less than mandatory for him. Yo, even the next frame, he got that same face. He wanted this get back so bad, nothing was gonna stop him. And I can't even blame him, because we had him hitting the Yamcha in front of the whole squad. This needed to be done. Jugo lands the attack on B, and after we see Sasuke on the floor, he just like, damn, maybe I'm not like that. Maybe I am a fraud. Rethinking his whole life. He probably want to change his pronouns to not him right now. Whole squad just watched their leader get baked. And if I was one of them on that squad, I'm leaving Sasuke right after that, bro. No Facts. way I'm about to take orders from that man. B looks Same. over at Sasuke and Karen. He like, oh no. Nah. Why the fuck he fighting her? Yo, these people are weird, bro. Why they have to pull up to my residence? I was just trying to get food, bro. So the whole squad already tried to ISO B and that shit did not work. So guess what they did? They did what anyone would do if they all lose one-on-one. -on -one. They jumped this man. Exactly. He dodges who gets who easily and look what he does to Jugo. Yeah, he thought we wouldn't notice. We see you. Being used as a platform. Sorry ass. Get out my face. Look at Sasuke. Gets body the first time and spins the block to get body again. Body. Yeah, nah. He got him looking crazy. B gets trapped and Sasuke lands a Chidori on him. And look at Jugo again fiending, bro. You could tell this man is hurt through his facial expression. B Bad really did a number on him. But that shit didn't matter because he was out of there. Homie must be the Flash because I don't know how he got that far away. B is leaning on the wall resting and Karen outs him talking about some... See, that would have got her a ticket to hell because I'm really out here trying to rest real quick. I just did three 1v1s and then y'all jumped me. Like, damn, bro, Facts. what is wrong with you? Y'all still got five. cooked. After Sasuke's done healing, he launches over to B. B puts on the cloak. He has flashbacks to Naruto and shit. And this is what I mean when I say Sasuke's a mid-air specialist because B is flying right at Sasuke. And he somehow just hits a double jump and goes over him. He's just untouchable in the air. B watches him do that and he just like... My name is Akira Tendo. After landing a job at a co Okay. Then fly straight to his allies. <laughs> Jugo has his first highlight play and gets everybody out of there. Then B's just like, alright, I'm gonna okay. go back after Sasuke. And Sasuke seeing that cloak, he does not want to run it back. And I can't blame him. If I'm getting my ass beat in the first fight and he got a power up, you best believe we're not fighting again. Sasuke hits him with the Genjutsu and Killer B goes crashing into the ground. And I'm just like, why didn't he try that earlier? Like if Facts. I had a move where I could stun them and have them on the floor? Man, sign me up. You never catching me in another hand-to-hand -hand fight again. I'm spamming that shit every time. Yes, it's unfair. Yes, I'm using it. Cry. Okay. Sasuke over here like, damn. Guess I'm not a frog. Stupid. Guess his first taste of the Larry. Delicioso stupid ass. Has him flying through the air. Got a giant ass hole in his chest too. Jugo looking at him like, oh no. Karen, he got a problem. With this hole in his chest, I can clearly see he doesn't have that dog in him. Even with all that talk about Sasuke having a hole in his chest, Jugo all of a sudden becomes the best medic to ever exist and saves him. Yeah, Sasuke's plot armor gotta be top two and not two. Cause what is happening? And this right here is something else. The cloak alone was already overkill, but then he decides to turn into the tail beast itself. And I know exactly what Jugo's thinking. He like, oh nah, they got me out here fighting a final boss? I don't even fuck with this squad for real. Karen's annoying as shit. 
Sasuke not even like that, and nope. Sugetsu is always carrying that big ass sword, man. I told him to put that shit down. Whatever, bro. We're doomed. Sugetsu comes in like, come on guys, we could beat this thing together. Sasuke's like, we? Nah, bro, just you. The rest of us are leaving. But hey, good luck though. Yeah, they left that man Sugetsu to get eviscerated. Yep. And that's exactly what happened. B pulled out his Bijou Bomb and Turned Brody into straight Kobe. Did that man bad. Yep. I'm watching like, damn, bro, it's just Sugetsu. You didn't need to do all that. But hey, fuck it, we both. Sasuke's staring in the eyes of death right now, and he has to figure out something fast. He closed his eyes and opened them back up, hitting B with the black flames. He already took an L twice, so you know you're not losing for the third time. Nope. The flames engulf B, and Jugo like, hey, bruh, if B dies, they gonna start playing his music everywhere. And that shit is trash. Please take that shit off. Sasuke like, hey. My bad, bro. We need him alive anyways. He takes the flames off B and he's alive, thankfully, so we don't have to hear his shitty music. And look at these cloud ninjas, bro. Why are y'all not pushing them? They all got no shield and low HP. You that sorry? Nah, bro. Cloud ninjas need to be better. If you don't have the confidence to pull up on them in that condition, you doing something wrong. Facts. That is nothing but straight facts, cuz, yeah, that man Killer B, he... He violated Sasuke and his crew so freaking, freaking bad. I really kid you not. Like, this man, Killer B, like, legit, like, wrote, wrote, took out a notepad and wrote some bars during the middle of a fight. And then next thing you know, with the power, nah, I got nothing to say. All I have to say is that Sasuke he, and his crew, they got violated so freaking bad. And plus, if his... And let's be real. If his crew was not not there, he, he his ass would have been grass, and he would have been six six feet under. Let's keep it let's keep it a buck. But this was a really good video. So if you enjoyed this video so much, comment down below what you guys enjoyed from it. I appreciate the time you guys watching this video with me. I really uh, appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, y'all already know what to do. Run up the likes, run up the views, subscribe, tap the bell every time I post. I love y'all so much for showing love to my main channel. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Thanks for chilling with me. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace. <laughs> Thank you.